I'm Kirsty Ware. I'm Tegan Fleming. Well, the main thing that um, we came to Cerebrum for was for um, some diagnostic testing for pandas. We needed to get the Cunningham panel, which we can't access in Australia at the moment. And also, um, Noah has an autism diagnosis, and so we wanted to um, bring some balance back into his brain. With the lab work, the Cunningham panel test, it came back positive, so it came back that Noah um, and myself actually had both had pandas. Um, it, you know, it's quite a significant autoimmune condition that impacts the brain, and there's a real fire going on in Noah's brain that's, um, you know, impacting how he learns and how he grows. Our first day at Cerebrum um, it included the diagnostic testing, and then we had a wonderful um, a review with Dr. Solis, and he, you know, really laid it out for us what Noah's greatest challenges were and it was so lovely because they were the things that we saw that Noah needed. I felt as a mother very understood that um, they, everyone here understood Noah's condition and understood his behaviours and saw him for who he was. I was surprised by Noah's behaviour and just I guess actions towards everyone there because he felt so comfortable and supported and that's very rare I mm. think. He met Mary, Miss Mary, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and he said Miss like, her name straight away, remembered his na her name, which is, it took about a year for him to learn my name, so I was a bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so he learned her name straight away, he was holding hands with her, and like he was just picking up on bits and pieces that he doesn't usually comment on, but really his vocabulary is expanded. Yeah. It's insane. Like the stuff that he comes up with and the like the context he puts it in. It's yeah. like, what? <laughs> Where did that come from? You yeah. wouldn't have said that two weeks ago. Yeah. The staff here are beautiful and it's made our experience so much easier. I just know from this experience I've learned so much about mind and body and I'm very grateful that I got to come here because I've learned so much about myself and I wasn't even the patient. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if someone was thinking about coming to Cerebrum and they they weren't sure. I would say that if you've got a feeling that there's something going on for you that's not quite right, then I wouldn't hesitate. 